Hello, Bruce. This is Jordan Maxwell. Yes, the one and only. Um, I don't know about that, but I thank you for inviting me. Okay, thank you for being on, Jordan. Um, so, um, America is uh, shrouded in darkness. Uh, there's this uh, communist crackdown on our civil liberties today. It's like we're going head to head in an all out brawl against uh, reptilian overlords. Yeah, this is why uh, this is why V.I. Lenin found the Communist Party in the Soviet Union. He called uh, a bunch of useful idiots. That was his term, useful idiots. And that's true. That's what we Americans are today. We're all a bunch of useful idiots. Yeah. We go along, and whatever they tell us, we just do. They tell us to wear a mask, keep your mouth shut, and stay home, and don't go to work, and don't earn a living, and don't pay your rent, but stay home, and wear a mask, and keep your mouth shut. Oh, my God. And maybe, and maybe if you're really smart, maybe your country will fall apart soon. Oh, that's because nobody to work and nobody's earning a living. So everybody will fall apart too. And I think that's going to happen in October of this year. Wow. <laughs> right. And what, what's gonna, what else is going to happen? There's uh, not going to be any toilet paper to TP people's houses in October, right? <laughs> yeah, that's good. Keep the people, keep the people, make sure they got plenty of, uh, of liquor stores on every corner. Make sure the people of America have all the liquor stores they could possibly want. Yeah. Put them on, on liquor stores on every corner. Make sure they got plenty of liquor to drink. Oh, and wow. give the young and give the young people plenty of sports because that'll, that'll wear them out and they'll be tired and want to go to sleep. And so that's what we want to do. We want to give the, all the young people, all the young youngsters in college and schools. Give them plenty of sports and let them be running around basketball, football, tennis ball, ping pong ball, bowling <laughs> ball, kicker ball, soccer ball. Just give them kids something to bounce the ball. Right. Let them bounce the ball and keep them busy. And they'll never know what's happened. They'll never figure it out. Right. While the overlords are deciding what they're going to do with our pathetic lives, uh, here's this yo-yo to spin up and down. Yeah, the, it's, it's live for sure. They are preparing all of us, and we are useful idiots. We, we really, are wow. the idiots, and they tell us what to do, and we do it. They tell you that there's a horrible, terrible disease that's going on that's killing millions and millions of people. And small children and babies are dying by the million. And yet we don't see, we have the, all the hospitals are empty. And, yeah. we, and it's incredible how they are lying to us and deceiving us. And we believe it, we buy it. And this is the same old crap the Soviet Union went through, Nazi Germany went through, and now America. Going Jordan, this is ridiculous. The nurses in the hospitals everywhere across the United States, they're dancing on a new YouTube platform called TikTok. I hear they're drinking vodka and they're having, you know, sexual relations with the doctors and the nurses. And they're not treating any freaking patients or anybody. This is literally the most dangerous time to get sick or try to end up in the in the hospital. I mean, oh my God, you know, you, you know, we have to be like Herculean this year to to avoid the 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 mouth of Cronus. You got it, you got it right. That's exactly right. But we are, as I said, we Americans are the useful idiots to the communists who run the world behind the scenes, the secret yeah. societies. And fraternal orders that run our banks behind our back, that run the churches, your religions behind your back, that run your political and your military establishment behind your back. We are useful idiots. Sad. So anyway. No, you called it, Jordan, for years. It's like almost like you could say, uh, ha ha, I told you so while sipping some champagne. But this isn't any time to sip champagne. I mean, this is literally like the zombie apocalypse every single day. It's like we're living a night of the living dead. You get that right. That's exactly right. 
because I've been talking about this coming to America for 60 years. That's six oh years. 60 yes. years I've been talking to the world about what's coming to America. Now that it's finally here, I finally see it now. I never thought I'd live to see it in my own lifetime. But as it turns out, I can now see it. Now I see it's happening in my own lifetime. Wow. And you know what's insane, Jordan? I mean, this is it's just crazy that we're going through this, uh, you know, all of us are pretty much knew it was coming in 2020. They, they showed his face. Uh, they keep saying words. And you're one of the biggest uh, word researchers and the etymology and the breaking down of the, of the occult meaning of words. And they keep using this word. I know you hear it. And I, I, I can almost guarantee that you, you, you've smiled thinking the same thing. Herd immunity. They keep saying, oh, well, when the people build up their herd immunity, they'll be able to go outside again. Herd immunity, Wouldn't huh? that be wonderful? That way we'll all be communists, we'll all be SS, Gestapo, we'll all be Nazis, and we'll all give our Nazi salute to oh, the world God. government. <clears throat> uh, we can all be uh, immune, and we will all be happy and delighted to live in a worker's paradise. Human. It's going to be a wonderful world of totalitarian dictatorship. Yeah. They're telling you right now, just wear your mask, stay home, and keep your mouth shut. And don't talk and don't think. Don't use your head. Just stay home and keep your mouth shut. Wow. And maybe, maybe your country will dissolve itself. Maybe America will collapse. <clears throat> if she collapses, it might be this October. Oh my Just God. remember, I'm telling you, October is going to bring a world catastrophe. <coughs> you okay? I don't know what's going to happen. Okay. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. But astrologically, we are moving into the most dangerous of time. Yes. The most dangerous of time. Oh, absolutely. Jordan, if, if I uh -oh. may... If I may for a second, I know exactly what you're talking about, and I, I've done my homework. Um, it's something that has to do with the great Saturnian conjunction. I mean, that's why all hell is breaking loose this year, is it not? I think you're right. There's some kind of conjunction happening. Yeah. Oh, what did you call it? What did you call it? It's the great Saturnian conjunction. I mean, all Saturn is supposed to be in conjunction with the other other stars, aka planets, whatever you know. But you know what I'm saying? Saturn yeah. is going to be in You're conjunction. Right. They just type in a, a Saturnian conjunction, and it's literally this year, December twenty second. Yeah, that's why I said October is when you're going to start to feel it. It's going to hit oh, in my October. God. Yeah. And it's going to be terrible because Saturn is the inhibitor. He's the one that holds you back and teaches you a lesson. Yes, a cor coronavirus, Kronos, Kronos virus, right? Am I, am I right there? Right. Yeah. That's right. Corona has to do with the planet Saturn. <clears throat> and the sun as well. And of course... <sighs> And of course, the the eye of the of the uh, of Horus, the, the yeah, Wajet. You're right. 